All right, um, welcome back. It's still I, Brand Daybreak, don't forget. And of course, we're moving next to another segment, which is not money, which is not scarcity, which is not swap. We're talking health, right? And then we'll be talking about breast cancer, awareness, prevention, symptoms, and remedy. So if you're ready, we are also ready. So let's go. Now, in Nigeria, cancer leads to over 72,000 deaths per annum. This number is set to increase even that there are 102,000 new cases of cancer every year. Over 70% of cancer patients are diagnosed of cancer at advanced stages. Increase incidence of cancer has been increasing in most regions of the world with breast cancer leading cancer deaths in Nigeria. Liver cancer second while prostate cancer is the third highest cause of death. How do you check to know you are safe? Is breast cancer for only women? What causes it? How can I prevent breast cancer? These questions and more would be answered by not us with but what by not us but an executive director value female network dr costly at derrick b sabah as she joins us virtually you're welcome doctor to the program good morning hello doctor good morning hello good morning all right we're very happy that you can hear, hear us perfectly and um, let's just go straight into business doctor we're talking breast cancer and um, if you listen carefully while I was, you know, going through, you would see the rate at which um, breast cancer is really taking life away from Nigeria. Now, run us through, doctor, what exactly is breast cancer? Let's start from there. Uh, thank you very much, and thanks for having me on the show this morning. You're welcome. Um, is um, we can, I think you should look at the word cancer. Cancer means unwanted or uh, something that wasn't part of the body makeup that so just came sudden and then started to grow. So one can have is that cancer grows and it can happen in any part of the body. So breast cancer is just one of the cancers. So breast cancer can, can be described as unwanted growth within the breast uh, tissue. And the truth about cancer is that it doesn't just uh, stop at a particular point. It continues to grow and grow and grow and grow till it destroys the tissue. It takes all the nutrients that the tissue is supposed to be using to survive. It takes it fastly and continues to use it. In fact, it doesn't take it at the rate at which the normal tissue, you know, consumes those nutrients. It consumes the nutrients 10 times faster than the normal tissue. So it starts the normal tissue and kills the normal tissue. And then the cancer tissue needs to behave anyhow and, um, you know, continues to grow till eventually they get rid of that particular tissue or even the person that is, um, you know, affected. So that is, that is the way um, I would describe um, cancer, uh, breast cancer, so that, um, you know, our, our listeners and viewers can understand what breast cancer is. So it's basically just an unwanted growth around the breast. It can happen both in uh, both breast or it can also happen unilaterally affecting just one of the breast um, tissues. All right. So when you talk about unwanted growth, especially on the breast, please, can you, you know, shed more light, especially with regards to identification of these unwanted growth? So that for those who are uh, listening, uh, they I could be able to uh, know uh, these things when it starts coming up. They can spot it out. Uh, Early detection. So, sorry, I didn't get that clearly. I'm sorry. All right. I said, when you talk about okay. unwanted growth on the okay, breast, perfect. could you please shed more light, especially to those who are watching, on how to identify this unwanted growth and nip it in the board immediately? Okay. So let, let me let me quickly say this that not all um, growth are unwanted. And not not all growth are dangerous. I mean all growth are unwanted. All abnormal growth are unwanted. If it, it makes one feel like uncomfortable, uh, but, but not all of them are dangerous. I 
and how do you identify straight to the um, question so we don't we don't take time? You usually we advise self first examination. It's, um, it's what women can do at home by themselves. They can it can also be performed on a woman by a how um, in either case yeah, in either way. Usually in self breast examination, what we do is just that we want to check our breast from time to time to see whether, uh, we want to understand what the normal is. So you don't have to wait till you have a growth before you start to examine your breast. It's good that we examine it from time to time so we understand what our normal breast do you feel like. And then when there is anything different, deviating from the abnormal, we're able to quickly spot it, we're able to quickly, you know, seek out and um, get it out. So usually in the first examination, a woman, a woman stands before the mirror. Uh, if there, that is, if there's a mirror, if there is no, if there's uh, not that, you know, no mirror, you know, you can you can just stand by yourself in your room. You can also perform the first examination, uh, first examination while lying down. You can also perform it while lying on your side as well, or while lying on your back. But usually when you when you are standing, you can be performed in the morning while you. You know, when, when a woman is just trying to dress up or when you are just coming back from work at night and you're trying to pull up your clothes or when you're in the bedroom and you can perform self-breast examination, you want to also be very sure that you observe the breast very well. And that's why we advise the use of the mirror because you might not be able to really see the, uh, see the other part of the breast. Uh, uh, you may not be able to visualize it accurately. If you're looking at it by yourself, or if you have a mirror in, and it can help. But basically, you want to be sure that the tissues are, are, are normal. Usually, the breast you feel, um, the upper part of the breast you feel very firm. And uh, when you touch your nose, that is the definition of firm. Just what All you right. feel when you touch your nose. Uh, so, but, but when you see any sticking or any any uh, uh, any breathing or swelling, uh, I mean, if, if the breast tissue swells something is going wrong. You also want to check around the breast with the pop of your fingers. Well, but usually the middle three fingers. You want to check from one side to the other side too. and you want to check lightly and then you also go to be sure that everything is normal. Usually when you feel like a lump, a round lump, or a regular lump, lump is swelling, it could be hard or soft, then you know that there's a problem. Or if there's any changes around the screen, you can or a woman can also quickly for help. So that, All right. That's well taken. That's well taken. But of course, you know, to someone watching, when we talk about breast cancer and breast cancer awareness, you know, it sounds to such persons as, you know, gender based. I mean, it applies to the feminine. Could you please tell us if actually men or the male folks also have something to do as regards this? Does it also apply to them when we talk about breast cancer? You see, I've been talking about a woman, a woman, a woman. Yeah. The truth is that usually we, we tend to want to correct the fact that men also develop cancer in the breast. The reason why more emphasis is laid on the woman is because breast cancer affects, in most cases, breast cancer affects 99, 99% percent affects women. Why is that so? That. But also, we want the percent of the men population can also develop breast cancer and that one percent is very significant as well as itself. Also in cases of breast cancer in the hospital, men having breast cancer, it is also normal because men also have breast tissue and I like I said, cancer can happen anywhere, can occur anywhere in the body. So as far as men also possess this tissue, cancer can also develop from that tissue. But there are two hormones that are really responsible for um, the overgrowth of breast cancer and women possess that hormone in high quantity, and that's why it's common in women um, than men. All right. Androgen or more, okay. All right. Yeah. All right, doctor, sorry that I, I have to butt in here because we're trying to manage, you know, our time, you know, judiciously because we have a few more questions to ask you and we must, you know, execute that, you know, for the show. All right. So in talking about um, awareness, what are those informations that really forms that awareness, you know, that should be sent out there? Just run us through that. Okay, so I think I'm Okay, I said, 
What are some of those informations in talking about awareness? Can you hear me? Information, okay. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. All right. In, in talking about awareness, what are those information that really forms or shapes or makes it look like, yes, this is an awareness okay. on uh, breast cancer so that people listening, people watching us right now can start taking note of some of those things? Nothing, uh, uh, nothing beats um, breast cancer and any infection. Breast cancer, let me quickly say that it's a very curious type of cancer. We are so lucky that it's one of the cancers that can be cured 100%. That depends on the time at which the cancer is being detected. And for awareness, awareness, and awareness, we can continue to emphasize that. We want people to know that uh, breast cancer. Uh, but we, we, we don't want we want to stop discrimination against women from cancer. That is one, and that is why we create a lot of awareness so that when people are aware and they see you know other women with breast cancer, they don't discriminate against them. So we want people to know how to discover this thing early. Um, and like I said, you don't have to wait for it happen. It can start as, as from from a love, and that's why self breast examination one of the very key ingredients of the awareness. We usually want to tell women, uh, you know, women, put them out to the first examination and how to identify the normal and abnormal. It has to be to say that you do um, self breast examination once in a month. For women that are still menstruating, you, uh, we, we will advise that you do self breast examination just immediately after the menstruation because usually during the menstrual uh, cycle, um, so the first five days or seven days menstrual cycle, the breast usually feels very tender and lumpy, and so you won't tend to be taking that form, uh, for a long um, or any other any other form of um, any other form of abnormal growing. But it is normal that you feel long during um, or, or business for some women. It is normal that they feel that during menstrual period. But happens to that is that it disappears after menstruation. And so the advice is to do a particular date of the month, immediately after your menstrual period, to check your breast cramp at least once a month. It can be more than once a month, but at least minimum of once a month. For so women that have you know, women that have a regular menstrual cycle, you can pick it just in any day, any day of the month and, you know, examine your breast. And the other thing is quickly screening as as uh, it takes a lot of life. Mammography is a very important screening that every woman that is above 35, 40, usually 40, every woman that is above 40 should go for breast cancer screening. We don't advise younger women to go for breast cancer screening. At a younger age, the breast tissues are still very dense. It means that they are fat. Together. And so the, 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 the sound, the, 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 the machine cannot be used clearly. You know when something is tight, it becomes difficult for anything to penetrate. But for women that are both 40, the fear of the breast is a bit um, is, is minimal. And so the machine can be part of it clearly. It's not like younger women cannot also do it, but it would not have to do something significant because even if there's a lot, the machine will not be able to cancer cancer cells. The machine would not be able to uh, yeah. to detect it, and that's why we usually say that from age forty. And I also to say that breast cancer is common in women that are above forty years. Um, about fifty-five to seventy percent of breast cancer can be found in um, breast cancer cases are found in women um, above fifty years, and then it's just um, about twenty-five percent that of uh, cases. In women that are uh, below uh, between 35 and 45 years, so uh, that's why you know screening, screening uh, has, has really saved a lot of life and usually encourage women to go for screening from time to time. So those are the basics of breast cancer uh, awareness. No, uh, stop discrimination against women with breast cancer. No, have uh, some breast examination. No, when there's normal tissue and when there's a bad tissue. Speak it by yourself right. and also go for mammography. All right. All right.
All right, doctor, you've answered or taken my next question, which is the preventive measures. You've taken that. And uh, because we're trying to wrap up this segment, I would like to ask you one or two more questions because we don't have time left. Now, in talking about uh, symptoms, if a lady or a woman out there spots a lump on her breast, what do you advise such woman to do? What's the blood on her breast? What do you say? Fine. Say it again. I said, what's the blood on her breast? One of the major signs of breast cancer. Okay. By the time a woman gets that high blood, then it means that the cancer has already advanced. Advanced means that by uh, uh, by by mentioning advanced, I mean that the the cancer tissues have um the have, have occupied the tissue um space and also have encroached into some other tissues around the breast or even beyond the breast. So, um, what a woman with blood spot on the breast should do is to immediately, immediately, with any further delay, go to the hospital. All right. Go to the hospital and get tested, and it can still be taken care of. It can still be managed. All right. So, um, talking about the remedy. For somebody who is actually suffering from breast cancer, I mean, it has been diagnosed that that individual has breast cancer. What can you pinpoint as the remedy to this disease in just 30 seconds, doctor? 30 seconds, please. The remedy to breast cancer is, um, is, is some, in some cases, it will be a drug still take care of the cancerous cells and the little um, radiation drugs, I mean chemotherapy. And these drugs are drugs that no people take for some other reason. There's nothing to be scared about. I think women are come to the hospital and they're absolutely scared of chemotherapy because of the side effects. But there's a lot of people on chemotherapy for even some other things that are not cancer. So uh, chemotherapy, there's some at, 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 at the supply level, chemotherapy can take care of it. Uh, but in order to see there has to be, what you have to be done, surgical removal of the part that is diseased or full of the breast. Usually, they take off the breast. Let me also say that, uh, uh, okay, so I, I can't insult you, it will also support with radiotherapy. Radiotherapy is a point directing um, a ray of light to the particular uh, breast that is cancerous. So it can kill the other cancerous cells that are, you know, that are, are outside the image. And then the auto chemotherapy. Apart from surgery, chemotherapy is also advised and also be added so that it takes care of the other cells that are outside the breast. Like I said, that the cancer, the breast cancer is one of the aggressive cancer, it's going very fast. But let me take it that there's a genetic factor to a genetic predisposition to breast cancer. Um, if a woman, uh, if you know that there's an issue of breast cancer in your family, you need to be more aggressive about how you do it about how you do the breast examination. You need to be more aggressive when you see some, ask, um, something, something strange on your breast. You need to report immediately. And if some women get black breast removal, when they get the particular head, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, doctor. We're sorry to, you know, butt in here, but we just have to go. We are really far behind time. But definitely we'll have you some other time on the show to give us more explanations on this because I can see you are fully packed with information today. But never you worry, you, you, you'll join us again sometime on the show. Thank you very much, Dr. Costley, um, for being there for us. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you very much for having me. You're welcome. You're welcome. All right, we've been talking about, we've been talking about uh, breast cancer prevention symptom remedy with the doctor right there. Uh, she's a medical doctor taking us through all of this. We hope you did enjoy this uh, segment. And of course, we're not done yet. We'll be moving next to another segment, an interesting one. We're talking money this time. So please stay with us. We'll be right back with yet another interesting guest. <laughs>